What's up guys, Handish here, and today, oh boy, do we have some exciting Destiny 2 Forsaken stuff to talk about. So just today we had a new K6 trailer and cinematic revealed for the game, and this one is super, super cool, so we're going to check it out and talk about it in just a moment. On top of this though, we have new info about the Gambit game mode, but this isn't some run-of-the-mill update or anything like that. We're actually going to have an early demo for Gambit. That's right, we're all going to get an early access preview of Gambit on our consoles. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. We have some other new info about the DLC, some absolute final confirmation about Cade's spicy ramen, and a bunch of other stuff to round up. So as always guys, if you do enjoy this video, a like is very much appreciated below. I'd also like to mention we have one day left on my Forsaken DLC giveaway, so if any of you guys haven't entered that and you do want a chance to be in with the pre-order for Forsaken, then be sure to check out the link down below. But for now, let's get straight into it. So first up, today at Gamescom, Bungie revealed a pretty fantastic new K6 trailer. This is actually going to be one of the in-game cinematics, which actually reveals part of how K6 meets his fate in the Prison of Elders. It's a very intense cinematic. We get to see Cade being an absolute badass. It is also, in its own way, a little bit brutal, especially for us folks who love Cade rather dearly. So let's check this out. Must have knocked out the comm relays with that spectacular landing. And cue the ominous music. Okay, everybody. Back in your cages. I said, back in your cages! Is that really all you got? Help me out here, little buddy. Yes. 
So there we go, guys. Pretty crazy stuff. We start with the kind of typical cage, you know, he's kind of got himself into a bit of a hijinks, which he does tend to do, of course. Of course, we also get information that we will be working with Petra pretty early on. She's going to feature into the story pretty quickly. But as the enemies, the scorn, begin to pour into the kind of arena or the space that Kate is in, you do start to get the sense that Kate is actually maybe really in trouble this time. And then we see the barons appear and it's very dark. Their presence is kind of terrifying because you know what's coming. But Kate in combat is absolutely fantastic. We get to see just how skilled of a hunter Cade really is. I really like how this is kind of relatable as well. You see Cade attempt to pop his golden gun and he actually gets taken out of his super. And then of course, when he's had enough, he's like, that's it, man. And he throws those fire knives, which is absolutely awesome. Cade is a bit of a character, of course. We know that he's a bit of a joker, but seeing him in action like this, we really get to see why Cade 6 is Cade 6, you know? Why he gets to be that hunter vanguard. And I guess for any long-term story fans for Destiny, you know, it's kind of an emotional moment. But then with the impending doom, knowing that those barons are in the background, we even see the rifleman kind of getting into position, climbing up and kind of suspending himself, and then finally taking sight with his rifle. We do see the Queen Broker's bow icon right there as well, so this is a modified fallen rifle that the rifleman actually has. And then, of course, the inevitable eventually happens. So what do you think, guys? I thought that was really intense. What a way to get the story going, you know? Cinematically, it's completely kind of a new level for Bungie in terms of their storytelling, the character building both on the side of Cade, but also the barons, the enemies, Prince Aldrin, and what is going on in this story. I personally am incredibly impressed with this. I think, you know, I think this is the coolest stuff we've seen since we had the kind of big Taken King cinematic with Morris Sav and everything like that. I genuinely feel that Bungie have done an incredible job of what we've seen so far. So let me know your thoughts down below, guys, as well. But next up, we had some incredibly exciting news about Gambit. We are actually going to be getting a demo for Gambit in-game on our consoles at home. So that is obviously super, super exciting. All Bungie have told us so far is that this is going to happen on the 1st of September. So of course, that is a few days before the Forsaken DLC actually launches, and the Gambit demo will begin at 10 a.m. PST, which of course is 6 p.m. BST. That is the daily reset time for the game. So we're going to be able to jump into Gambit. And this is something I actually learned a couple of days ago. I also got to take a look at that K trailer when I was at Gamescom. So it's been incredibly exciting waiting for this to actually be revealed and looking and seeing like people's reaction at Gamescom as well on the live stage was really, really cool. You know, people were very excited about this. But something really important to remember when it comes to this Gambit demo is that this is actually happening after the update on the 28th of August. So we will have the weapon slot changes in the game. So we'll actually be playing Gambit with the weapon slot changes that we've seen, that we know are coming, shotguns in those secondary slots, kinetic shotguns even, snipers being moved around, and of course the sandbox changes that are going to make a lot of weapons more powerful than they are right now. So bear that in mind guys, the 1st of September, Gambit demo on your console in your house. How awesome is that going to be? I'm going to be playing Gambit as long as possible. It is a one day only thing. So if you do want to get that early preview, definitely mark it down on your calendar. The map we're seeing right here is the Kells Grave map. I did make a video with a bit of gameplay on this map just yesterday. When I got to play this, Activision took me out to Gamescom. I actually just got back home today. So I'm super, super tired, but super excited by everything that's going on, of course. But it's a pretty awesome Gambit map. I also wanted to point out what the reef looks like from orbit, because of course this map actually takes place on the reef. So this is going to be at least one of the orbit screens for the Tangled Shore and the reef inside of the Forsaken DLC. There were also some new press assets as well, a whole bunch of really cool images, some new looks and better looks at certain pieces of gear and locations, of course. And in terms of more information regarding updates, the 28th update and going into Forsaken, the more technical stuff, Bungie have said they will be updating us yet again today in this week at Bungie. So if you are watching this video a little bit later on, there's a good chance I will have made that video and there'll be some new details about the updates. 
But of course, something else which happened this week inside of Destiny 2 was the delivery of the quest which leads us to Cade's spicy ramen and the ramen token. This is something we've been onto for a little while and we'd spoken about it. We had been very curious as to what it was going to mean and any potential rewards for it, but I think quite a few of us kind of expected that it maybe would go the way that it has and that this item really is kind of an Easter egg with some lore as opposed to a full-blown quest that has some kind of reward. But DMG did give Give some final absolute clarification regarding the ramen quest, Kate 6 has left you a coupon, it may be expired, but it's the thought that counts. Read the lore tab on the coupon for more. He does say there are no further steps to this quest, nothing at reset, nothing requiring other items, keys or activities. So just worth clarifying that. There had been a bunch of speculation about potential things that we'd be able to do with this. Of course it's always interesting to see the community kind of come together and speculate a little bit. But there we go, there is the confirmation from Bungie. Absolutely, there isn't anything else that we're going to get from this quest, but it'll be a cool thing to hang on to, especially considering what's going to happen to our friend Cade in just a couple of weeks' time. But guys, for now, that is going to summarize the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Obviously, some pretty exciting stuff that we've been able to get a look at. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, a like below is very much appreciated. It really helps me out on the channel. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit subscribe, turn on those notifications, and that way you'll never miss out on any Destiny to content. There's also the giveaway that I mentioned before that's going to be wrapping up in just a couple of days time. And otherwise, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of the recent support on the channel. It's been absolutely insane. Obviously, we've been pumping out a bunch of Destiny 2 Forsaken news. It's all going to kick off in a couple of weeks time, but you guys have showed me endless amounts of support here. So I really do appreciate it. All of you guys who've subscribed, all of you who tune in, whether it's daily or just when, you know, really interesting stuff happens, all the likes and the comments, it really makes this entire thing worth doing, you know? So thank you guys so much for that. Let's look forward to an exciting future for Destiny 2 with Forsaken coming up very, very soon. For now though, guys, thank you as always for dropping by. Whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.